Thank you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That was me. That excitement of seeing uh, your product on the pages of Vogue, I think that's such a high. <gasps> oh my God, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. I love it. Amazing. What doesn't come through in this photo is the smell of this corner here in Chinatown, the fish market. Authentic. This is major. <laughs> I mean, whatever, I can't stop smiling. You know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's pretty cool. Just this makes me happy forever, I can say. Like, even if nothing else happens, like, I, I'm, I'm done, really. <laughs> So today is my favorite part of the process for the Fashion Fund. We get to go and visit the actual designer studios. Jennifer Fisher, we get to see her whole collection of jewelry. It's really exciting to show them the breadth of the collection and everything that you know we do and, and that they can really see the range. You know, just to see the contrast of the, the designers and how they work, how they actually see themselves through their own vision of what their studio looks like, their store or their showroom or whatever is really fascinating. We always mess around with some artisanal sort of things, so this is real American flags. Oh, you're kidding. Um, no way. This is a real American flag and that you dyed it? It's a, it was an interesting contrast to go from Jennifer's studio with all the sparkly gold and her studio is very polished and then the contrast of coming to Greg's studio at Assembly and seeing, you know, his really kind of he feels more like a startup. He is not as established. I feel like it really does speak to what the Fashion Fund is all about. Is really, it's not about you know whether you like the clothes or not. That's not really the point. The point is like, are these designers talented? Can they get to the next level? What do they need? Can we be helpful? You know, and that to me is really exciting and fun. It's really nice to have anybody's time and attention who Mark, Anna, Jenny, these people who are really knowing what they're talking about, and so you're getting that from them. Just the quick little suggestions and notes that Anna had on like my sketches and direction, the way the collection was going, extremely helpful. In the Tiffany and Company Blue Box, you will find details on this year's design challenge. Your design will be unveiled at a cocktail party hosted by Anna Winter and Diane von Furstenberg. 2012 marks Tiffany's 175th anniversary. Tiffany and Company has a close association with the American classic film Breakfast at Tiffany's. And Baz Luhrmann's highly anticipated The Great Gatsby. For the film, Tiffany's has created a collection of platinum set diamonds and pearls that complement the 1920s costumes. Tiffany & Co. would like you to create a one-of-a-kind look, accessory, or piece of jewelry inspired by the style of either one of these films. So either The Great Gatsby or Breakfast at Tiffany's. Um, F. Scott Fitzgerald? Yeah. Are you kidding? That's the most exciting thing ever. This Gatsby stuff is really exciting. Like, this is so cool. So the design challenge is the opportunity for the 10 finalists to kind of demonstrate how would they work with a brief and how do they work under a different kind of time frame than they usually would for their own collections and really kind of understand the whole collaborative uh, situation that you know all designers are challenged uh, to do. You're sitting here with this Tiffany box and you want to scream you're so excited and I opened it and as I was going through it I see a picture of my husband. I scream so loud, I don't know what to do with myself. My husband was showering and I sat in the bathroom and held up each page of the Tiffany box of the Tiffany challenge to explain to him how exciting it was. And he's like, that's crazy. I was like, I know, I feel like this is gonna be an exciting challenge. It's an interesting moment to see how they respond to something that can be out of their comfort zone because I think that's a lot of the fashion fund is about taking people out of their comfort zone. This is so cool. This is, I'm so excited. I want to set aside my spring collection and start working on this right now.